Wouldn't it be nice if your golf swing was the same every time, hitting the same perfect shot every time? Sounds crazy, doesn't it? But you can really get that with a very simple feeling that I've got for you in this tip. I want you to think about how the club head works in the golf swing. If you get the club head to work the correct way, you'll be able to get over the ball without much thinking, swing, and hit a beautiful shot just like that, and then do that time and time again. We're talking about the club head here today. If you know how to feel the weight of the club head in the golf swing, it will change how you hit the golf ball instantly. A really simple, repeatable golf swing is one that traces the same path in the back swing and the downswing. So look at my club head here. Back swing, and then the downswing. They're matching up almost on identical paths. The closer you can get those lines together, the more consistent you're going to be. So it's going to make your golf swing very simple. You don't have to do a whole lot of lifting and dropping and looping or swinging this way up and chopping over, those things that make you want to go chuck your clubs in the lake. We're not doing those things anymore. This is very simple. Let's think about the weight of the club head and how this can help you get a swing that is simple back and through, one swing back and through, one path. When I hold this club out in my right hand, I can feel the weight of the club head swinging back and forth. Just get used to the sensation of what it's like to have the weight of the club head in control. It's going to trace the same path back and through even though I'm doing nothing. Right here from the side view, look at this. It's the same path back and through. Grab two hands on the club now, do the same thing. Get a little bit of noodly arms, somewhat overcooked noodles, and swing a pendulum back and through. What you should be feeling here is that the hands are leading the club head, like the club head's lagging behind the hands. That's noodly. And what I'm sensing is that the weight of the club is directing the motion. I'm not doing anything to force the club any different direction. It's just the weight of the club telling me what to do. Then, when we swing this club back, here's the magic of it. If you were to feel the weight of the club head swinging all the way back to the top of the backswing with your noodly arms, you would trace the same path back and through. From the front, watch this. A little bit of a noodly arm start. The weight of the club gets into position here, and the weight of the club carries me through. And all that power just releases at the ball right here. Tons of speed. The weight of the club takes care of all the positions in the golf swing without me thinking about them. Makes your swing one thought instead of 15 million thoughts. All right, so to get the feeling of what it's like to have the club on the same path, let the club head do the work, you need to just start here with a basic little chip lag the club back and through, and notice how the hands are ahead on the backswing and they're ahead on the downswing. At no point is the club getting out ahead. I'm not rushing my swing. Let the club head swing through. You might find your swing is smoother when you do this. It's also more powerful. So we're just going to chip one back, through, and it's a pretty powerful little shot around the center of the face. And as you've done that, and you build up this feeling of the club head lagging, the weight of the club head in control, you're sensing great contact. We're just going to keep building it up into a half and slash full swing motion. So we're going halfway, it's nice and solid, and working my way all the way up to that eventual full swing here. The ball is just rocketing off the face very solid. You can see that the club head is lagging behind the hands. The weight of the club is in control. And I'm feeling all the speed of the swing happening out here. I'm not thinking about it. It's because I'm letting this work. So the magic here is that as I've got these noodly arms, the club is tracing one path on the way back and one path on the way through. Do I want you having noodly arms when you play normal golf on the course? Well, not necessarily. I'd like for you to eventually get to the point in your game where you can just swing normal and hit the ball solid. But for right now, you need the feeling of your arms staying noodly, the club lagging, so that you can get that club on one path, not a million paths, for consistency.
By the way, I've got a free mini course, go.segudo.golf. It'll show you the top three keys you need to be a great ball striker to build your swing up, hit it solid shot after shot like that. So let's take this up to the next level. In my hands here is one of the most powerful swing trainers known to man. This is the lag shot. And it already has a super weighted club head with a whippy shaft. So I don't need to do the noodly arms anymore. This thing will just teach me the proper path to swing the club on. When I just swing this club back, I can feel the weight. You can even see the lag, look at that. Right there. See the club whipping and lagging. That's just the weight and this fact that the shaft is whippy. So as I swing back, I'm already having that noodle feeling. The weight of the club is controlling the swing and it's releasing all of the speed you need right there in front of the golf ball after impact. Tons of speed. We're going to train up that speed with the lag shot. You can even hit balls with it. That's the beauty of this thing. You can train it inside, outside, with a ball, without a ball. It still creates a consistent swing. So as I do this nice and slow, we'll just look at that in slow-mo. You can see how the club is lagging behind me at all points. The weight of the club head controls the motion of the swing. Especially in the downswing, you see where that club is really a nice angle here, plenty of stored power to be unleashed on the ball at the right time, which is impact. And I really can't screw up with this club because if I hit a bad shot with this club, if I try and rush my downswing, let's say, well, I'll feel the club go off path. So I really can't rush my swing because I'd feel it jerk off path and I wouldn't hit the ball. Or I'd feel on the other way, it would fall too low. I can't swing too much in to out because the club would drop to the ground. I'd probably top it. So the only path this works on is the correct one. Back and through. And I don't have to think much about the swing. I just need to feel the weight of the club head staying behind me. I can't rush my swing. I've got to allow the weight of the club head to do the work. And that's the beauty of this. By the way, you can use the code in the description and comments below to get 15% off this beautiful thing. They've got a driver model too, help you build that up for the driver. So let's get that big dog out. The big dog will hunt. With the driver, it's even more important that you keep your swing smooth and flowing. We don't feel like we're uh, rushing it. Let the club head do the work. It's the heaviest club in the bag. Nice and smooth. Hit it on the center. Smooth swing. Ball's going to go farther. So here we go. Noodly arms feeling. Just get one feel with that noodly arms. Feel the club lagging behind. And then we're going to speed it up. We're going to go up to 80%. Here we go. Let that club head lag behind. Mm. That felt amazing. That would make me want to hit driver out of the whole bucket of balls in the range. Just hit a hundred of those like that. It'd be a great day. So let's swing again because that was fun. So I'm still doing noodly feel because I want you to get this. I wouldn't do this with a normal swing, but just noodly. Ooh. Wow. Club's lagging. That's that lag shot feeling. I'm taking that lag shot feeling to the shot here, to the swing. Lag shot feeling in the same swing. Now just do one normal. Head in place. I've got that same feeling of the club head lagging behind. One path in the back swing and down swing. Just send it. Wow. That is an explosion off the face. Woo! So it's a good golfers. You know what to do. Swing the club head. Let the weight of the club head do the work. The weight of the club head will guide your swing. It's a very easy way to get one path back and through. Now, if you want to play the best golf of your life, check out my website, Segudo.golf. It's a complete golf swing training program designed to help you to play the best golf of your life right now. Life is too short to play bad golf. So start playing the best golf of your life with Segudo.golf. Thanks for tuning in and see you in a future episode.